Hello. I was looking at magazines that used to have, um, I don't know what you would call it, just like type in games. And I was looking at some of them on eBay, but I also figured I'd look at archive.org and there is some stuff in here. So I was wanting to kind of play around with some of these and see if they work. Over here on the BBC Basic, uh, I looked at an emulator and there's a BBC Basic for Linux and it also has reference for this stuff. So that is pretty cool. Um, let me go ahead and open up that magazine. So I downloaded one of the magazines and these are using BBC Basic or BBC B. I don't know what Electron is. Um, this guy's face is concerning, but there's a whole bunch of stuff back here. So if we go past all the articles, we have these all these programs. Some are longer than others, but they're usually one to two pages. So like, I don't know, is this an address book? Like you know, all this code just to keep an address? I don't know. Maybe it's a game. Maybe it's a utility. I don't know. This one seems pretty short, so I thought maybe I'd try that out. A classic arcade favorite is brought to you to your BBC B or Electron by this version from Christopher Brown of Great Barford, Bedfordshire, Bed Bedfordshire. The object is to steer your fleet of cargo spaceships safely through the asteroids, which hurtle towards you. Ten levels of difficulty allow you to choose the number and speed of asteroids. So, we'll I just try it out. <laughs> um, and so, it's actually, this is pretty interesting because there are a lot of, like, example programs in here, but I can't even imagine writing something as complex as this in basic this right here like oh how i could i could write it in c plus plus no problem but just reading this basic code is like gross this is gross <laughs> anyway so we'll do new and let me just save it in case something crashes um we'll name it cargorama <laughs> bbc Cargo, ra car cargo Rama. Okay, I was like, Cargo Rama. <laughs> okay, so there's also line numbers, but let's see. Will it let me just type in the line numbers on my own? Okay, it'll do, it'll keep to that. Because I was trying to do one earlier and I was trying to just use the line numbers that were on the edge and the, you know it was going 1 through 100 and so on and so I kept having to space things out. I didn't know I could put the line numbers here. <laughs> okay, CLS go sub 410. Okay, we're just gonna type this entire thing out and see if it works. See if we make any not, uh, syntax errors and then have to debug it. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't really know, like, I've used Power Basic when I was really young, but I don't know much basic, so I don't know what a lot of these commands are. But there's that reference page that should be pretty useful. Here's some variables. Setting some coordinates. Maybe score and, I don't know, direction, maybe? 8202 000 hello to print tab something random and a bunch of asterisks I, I, I haven't been putting my line numbers in here I'm a bad basic programmer okay this was 41 50 Oop. let's see if I can just type that and then enter okay this is 70. I remember adding line numbers uh, when I used to write in basic. And it's just so weird because you would like space out these line numbers in case you had to go back and add something later. Um, so you would, you know, not do every single line like one, two, three, four, five. Um, or at least that was my impression of why you would not do everything sequential. Print tab random amount of asterisks again. Are those the asteroids, I guess? For k equals zero to ds. Do not know what ds is. Oh, 
Is that D times S maybe? We have that D variable and the S variable. I don't know, but we'll go back here and this is line 130. So then line 140, another print tab, random 30, 30. <laughs> Next K. And we have color. Ah, I keep forgetting my line numbers. 150. Next K. And then 160. Color 1. 170. More print tab. This must be our character. XY. Some sort of character. 240. Maybe that's the score. I don't know. Let's see if it does anything yet. Well, I don't see anything. It seems like it doesn't run very effect efficiently on my system. It was kind of lagging things up, but we'll try. Let's just put everything in here. Unlike how you should be writing your programming assignments, don't just throw everything in and then try to build it at the end. So we're adding one to the score at this point. I also... Man, I'm glad we don't have to keep track of our line numbers anymore. If i is q, then d equals negative 1. So this looks like it's flipping the direction, possibly. p, then d equals 1, because then you'd multiply it by the value of d. x is equal to x plus d, whatever direction we're going. If i is equal to at sign, then s equals s minus 80 CLS. Uh, okay. Don't know what that means. Let d equals zero. If it... And I keep forgetting my line numbers. Uh, yeah, I need those, don't I? Because we have some go-tos down there. Okay, so that's 220. 230. 240, 50, 60, 270, and 280. If point x times 32 plus 16, 656, greater than 0, go to, or is it go space 2? I don't know. I think it's go to. Go to 300. 290, go to 100. Uh, 300, print, tab, x minus 1, y, and then the uh, pound sign for British monies, but we don't. I don't have that on my keyboard, so we'll just use dollar sign. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't break a string or anything like that. In, you go to 330, 4... I is equal to 1 to 100, sound 0, negative 5, I, 1, next. So it's going to play some sort of sound. Um, just please forgive me for continuing to forget my line <laughs> numbers. 340 print. Your score is, and then S. If score is greater than high score, then high score is S. Input, enter your name into H variable. We. Um. Something here is like, how many spaces are you supposed to have at this point? <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell in this book, but I guess you just kind of test things out. Base, 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 hs, uh, by h dollar sign, go sub 530, 390. Clear the screen, 400, go to 80, 410, print, 420, print, spaces, 
four thirty print a bunch of pound signs. Uh casteroids. Casteroids. Four forty print by Christopher Brown. Copyright nineteen eighty four. Uh, 460 print, 470 print, left, tilde Q, right, tilde P, uh, help, tilde at, but your score is 80 less. Okay, so that was when we subtracted that. I guess if you got help in the game, not just instructions. 500 print sound. Yes or no. Um, input S dollars. 510. FX. 210. Zero. Don't know what that means. If S dollars is in, then FX. 210. 1. And of course I have this open, so um, I guess we could look at what FX is. Flush internal buffers. Okay. I thought maybe it was like a sound effect or something, or some sort of other effect, but no. Um, so if that, then that. Otherwise, we'll go 530. Input. Difficulty is misspelled. 1, 2, 30. DS, CLS, return, VDU, 8202, oh, are those, wait, are those semicolons? I think those are semicolons. I'm not sure. 8202. Okay. Let's, let's see if that does anything. Ooh. Q, Q and P, those are terrible places for those. Okay, I'll try it. Difficulty one. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Can you hear that? That's This is actually cool. That was difficulty one. Oh my gosh. That doesn't sound very good. Um, so yeah. Now, can you make sense of what all this is? Uh, eh, eh. <laughs> I mean, it's use. It was creating random asteroids. I don't know what the DS was, unless that's a special command. No. And then, okay, the like player character was that little arrow thing, so that was one of that like special character thing. Um, I think we need fewer asteroids. I wonder if I can just set these to lower numbers and it'll work. But this emulator is pretty cool. Oh, so the okay, one of those was for like the row. Wee. I'm such a good asteroid person. We That's a bad noise. <laughs> Enter your name. Yay. But I'm sure this is not saving. Um Man, this reminds me I also used to like think it was really cool you could change colors of the background and the foreground in um power base at the least. Well, yeah, that one's cool. Well, what else do we have? That didn't take too long, actually. Um, I don't want to write something really big because that's going to be a pain in the butt to debug. Okay. Um, that one's two pages, so no. We got pigeon. Pigeon shoot. That's two pages. Ghost hunter. Maybe I'll do some of these on their own. Air Passage. That's pretty long also. Gothic Horror. 
So can you like imagine typing all this up? <laughs> It's like, oh, I got my magazine, I got all these new games in it, and l l let me type in all this stuff. Ah. <laughs> so, like, when I was a kid, I had some books that were, like, the text adventure, how to write a text adventure and basic thing. Um, but I never had any magazines like this. There's a Doctor Who game. Monster Maths. Memory Keys. That one's not too long. Catac catacombs. Catacalism. Mor Morse code. Invisible maze. That one's also not too long. Maybe we'll do this one. That one's kind of short. You are lost in a mystery maze and must try to find your way to the finish. Key in N, S, E, or W for the direction you wish to go. The computer will not allow you to proceed if there is a wall in the way. One hint to help you, the maze is an 8x8 grid. It is a maze, so <laughs> it's a maze and maybe it doesn't display graphics or something. Um, also, I could just throw these in my um, repository where I have my 80s and 90s adventure games and I did that how to create adventure games book in a different video series, so I can also throw this guy in here if I know where I saved it to. What did I save this? I saved it in the examples folder as Cargo Rama. Wait, games R. There we go. Okay, so I will commit that. I'll put the author's information there later off off camera, but. Let's try the invisible maze. Oh, save. Oh, no, wait. Let's keep the 30s. Ah! There's no keyboard-based redo button. Okay. New. We'll save this. Let's see if I can just directly save it here. I'm not sure. It might not let me paste in a path. Yeah, we'll just go back and we'll save this as invisible dot BBC. Okay. This one is by... Written for the Electron by Ian Freelance of Hull North Humberside. So we'll try this out. Me. Maybe I'll just throw this one on this side and move this over here. <clears throat> okay. So REM, those are comments. Which, so, even less code that needs, that will get processed. Maze, craze. I might adjust this font size as well so I can read it a little bit better. I'm old and my eyeballs are bad. Um, oh, let's just do large. Okay. Rim by I Freelance. Ah, cool. Mode 1. Oh, I'm forgetting my line numbers again. Do we have go-tos in here? I don't see any go-tos. I do see a go-sub. Okay, well... Mm, this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50... Color? Okay, clear the screen. We have a variable for whatever B is. 40, 40 BSs, no, 40 B strings. So we need C is a string of a, probably 40 asterisks. Um, dim maze. I don't know what d dim means, but we could look that up. Oh, an array statement or as a function. Array, structure, memory. Okay. Next x, next y, rim, maze, set up. x is equal to 1, and y is equal to 1. a is equal to maze. Yx, so we got column row, go sub 310, 
So give me just a moment. One seventy, one eighty, one ninety. Okay, at two hundred VDU thirty one zero twenty. 10 input direction dollars 220 sorry i don't know if it's annoying if i just read the code as i write it out it's like a let's play i just i'm talking about what i'm doing and i'm literally just typing in n equals instir a dollars direction dollars one <laughs> um it could be an asthma of code a code asthma <laughs> ASMR. Direction dollar. Okay, yeah, there's a pretty standard adjusting coordinates. Um, I don't know if basic is case sensitive or not. I don't think it is. But there's a whole bunch of different flavors of basic as well. Then 500, not a go to 500, just a 500. Hmm. I don't know what the difference is between saying a line number and using a go to. Um, maybe the way it executes or like the ability to go backwards or something, you know, to return. I don't know. You can move and a dollars. Print C dollars. Okay, so this is all the data of, like, I guess where you can go. So 420, S, Southeast, and so on. Oh, but maybe I should put spaces, I don't know. Let's get rid of the spaces. So, three of those. For fifty, um, almost done writing the map data in. This is kind of hard to keep track of where I'm at. Northeast. Uh, 470, more data. Oh my gosh, so much data. N E, we, 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 Nua, Ni, Ni, We, Wa. Uh, 500 maze finish. You have done it. And then we end. Okay. Got our brand new game, the invisible maze. Are you excited to see what we got? <laughs> Not in a for loop at line 140. Okay. Uh, let's go up here. Yeah, I saw it. We have... Okay, read. Oh, I had dim... Dim maze. Oh, I completely missed some lines. 110. 4, Y is 1, 2, 8. Let me do capitals. Uh, 124, X is 1, 2, 8. 130. 
read maze yx. Okay. So then we're good, I think. Yes, maybe. Let's try it out. No such line at 190. Okay, I'm missing... Uh, I said go sub 310. Uh, <laughs> I'm just missing lines of code. There's go to 180, 310. Okay. You can move south. Okay, I'll move south. Capital S. You can move west. I'm moving west. You can move. Oh no, <laughs> I can't move anywhere. Um, okay. Well, the data <laughs> is all right here. Uh, where do we even start at? Does it have... Is that where we start at? A is the maze XY. Um, well, I am less enthused about this game from just not having cool graphics and having to double check my typing. <laughs> Um, where are we even, we start, we're starting here, right? So then we go south, I assume, and then, but it's not in S here. Wait, what is the size? This was eight by eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I assume these are sequential. I don't know why this is on this line, but this would be eight. Does it matter? Can I put this on the next line and just organize these by eight? So west, if I go west from there, would it wrap around? This line has eight. Uh, well, here, let me go through this again and just, just double check it. Okay, actually, I think this should be SW, not a comment in between. Okay, it seems to be working a bit better now. However, again, I'm, I'm not enthused about this game. <laughs> Keep going south. Go east, go continue east, east. Just just the best game. My most favorite game in the world. <laughs> well, okay, that was invisible. Uh good work. <laughs> Let's just look through the rest of these. So this looks like a one page game, but it is a lot of programming. That's the last one in here. I am relaxed. On arrival at a distant planet, you must bail out of your mothership and guide your space vessel towards the moving landing craft below. Every time you achieve your difficult mission, you advance to a new screen and the game becomes a little faster. If you fail and crash, you lose one of your three lives. Move your ship left and right as it floats downwards using the less than greater than signs. Uh, keys and press spacebar to drop from the mothership. Docking with the landing craft earns you 10 points plus a bonus of the screen number multiplied by 10. And at screen 10 and again at screen 20 you gain an extra life. Steven and Mark Ozan, who wrote Space Landing for Electron, set a high score of 7, 000, uh, 2,750 points. I wonder if it's like something just kind of keeps scrolling and then you're up here and you hit the button and you hope that by the time your character lands it'll be at the thing. I don't know, what do you think? Should I write this one? I might do it off camera and then we can test it out once I have typed in all of these things. Then some of these are a little hard to read. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> Okay, I typed it all out, um, however, 
Okay, we have mode one proc instruction. It was saying we couldn't find proc instruction. Um, for these, a lot of these commands, I assume this colon meant just continue more new commands on the same line. So I ended up splitting those types of things up into different lines and just incrementing by one. So we have proc instruction, proc instruct. Let's see, we'll just check out what builders I did. Proc instruct, it's, okay, copy that. Make sure I have the right, oh, I didn't put def, but also let's just paste what we have in here to make sure I spelled it correctly. Now, if we have procs as like functions, basically, why do we still use go to's everywhere? Oops. Proc. Proc instruct. Right? I think. Maybe. Did I hit insert? Because I don't want it inserted. Okay. Uh, proc instruct. No, no T at the end. Okay. Keep trying. Okay, there we go. Ooh, that's weird. I don't know why it's drawn like that, but use left, right, space. Oh, I probably, uh, I probably did some coordinates incorrectly. So this is supposed to be press space at 300. Wait. And then 250 is to continue. Press space to continue. Okay, and then instructions. Oh, I did my lines here. Well, I followed that. Maybe that's what it's supposed to look like? <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's see if it runs. Oh no, syntax error at line 52. Alright, well... It did not like that draw. Well, because I kind of I split these up again. So we have move zero zero, draw one. Uh, let's just be like that because it goes to a new line. Okay. Just check for oh, look at all those dots. Missing end if at line 131. Uh 131. If then. So we got 130. If, then, SSH is three, and we have a for loop. And this is where I, I didn't see an ending to this if statement, which is why it kept indenting forward. Um, man, okay, this is gonna be hard to debug. <laughs> And if, okay. I don't suppose I can do searches in here, like print tab. No. There's a, there's a missing and if somewhere. Well, let me look for it. Either that or we don't need an and if if everything's on the same line. Um... I mean, I could just try that. So we're one, 131 if is 19, then print tab. But there's so much stuff in one little thing o ding. That was the end of this one. What if I just put end f right here? <laughs> Can maybe see if that. That's so loud. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we'll uh, turn that down for my headphones. Okay. Is that the lander? I don't know where I am. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not, I don't really know how it's supposed to work. Um, maybe I'm missing a bunch of end ifs now because I split everything out onto separate lines. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. So, let's just look for the if statements that have 
a bunch of stuff on one line real quick. I I might not complete this game. Okay. Here's 650. This is very long. So let's just put an end if over here. This is like the proc score stuff. Um maybe 880. That there. Okay, so like the main gameplay, we have the instructions. We go down here and then it, uh, I guess it just returns basically. So this starts the game. I guess this part is the game, I assume. So these must be random stars, I think, perhaps? I'm not sure. Like, maybe this is choose a color, G-E-C-O-L. Um, let's look at 140 as well. Okay, I, well, we have this other if, but that one just goes somewhere. Okay, that was that one. Blurb. I don't know. I don't see anything. I just see this. I, I assume that's what you're supposed to jump onto. Nothing seems to be happening and it just makes a lot of noise. <laughs> okay, well... That is interesting. I won't put that one in the repository, but um, if you're interested in looking at other um, books, I just looked up like basic programming magazines. Um, so I might just go through these first because if I go to like a different platform based PC thing, then I'll be a different flavor of basic and then I have to find an emulator for that and reference for that. Um, but I might look through some more of these because going through these is kind of fun, but also horrifying. Um, it could be cool to port them to maybe like Lua or Python, but that might be something for a different time. But oh no, there you go. Three brand new games, two brand new games and one game that... I didn't type in correctly and so it doesn't work right. Um, but there you go. You get one magazine, you get all those new games. Isn't that exciting? After you type everything in. 